hi this is Sarah from Exploring with Sarah. Tonight I am making kind of like my own concoction. I have some leftover Spanish rice. I have some chicken that I cut up. I had a whole chicken and I put it um, in eight pieces. So I'm going to grill those on my grill pan and then I'm going to make like a Spanish fried rice. That's the plan. Okay, you see my grill pan. I'm going to turn it on. It is new. Came across this awesome grill pan that I've always wanted. So I got that off of Bed Bath & Beyond. I think it was only like $10 and I couldn't resist. Of course I was on the site today and I would prefer to have like a red one or something, but this will work just fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the rest of my oil because even though it is a cast iron, you still need to oil it. I have um, marinated my chicken breast. I put a little Worcestershire, a little garlic, and well, a lot of garlic you can see, and a little lemon juice. So I'm gonna do both of them, but I think we're gonna only use one. Okay, and in this back pan right here, I'm gonna go ahead and start some carrots and a quarter of a pepper. That this is where I'm gonna make the rice. So this is where I'm gonna put my my meat. Oh yeah, it's coming up to a boil. Not to a boil, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's coming up to temperature. Go ahead and put these guys in here. This is just one big carrot and just a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna just go ahead and do both chicken. Oh yeah. And then I'm going to turn it down to four. So I want it to get seared and gorgeous. This is the first time I've ever owned a grill pan. <laughs> I've wanted one for a while. I, um, when I worked at Ross Dress for Less for the longest time, I would see like the Rachel Ray ones come in all the time. And I was like, Sarah, get one, get one, get one. But I never did because uh, what do I buy at Ross? When I work there, lots of clothes that I don't need. <laughs> so that's what I ended up buying. But it just worked out. And also we want to be um, nomadic and have a have a um, RV. So the cast iron stuff that I'm getting now is gonna last us forever. I mean it's cast iron but we can use it over a fire and stuff like that. That's mainly what I'm looking at as I'm updating some of my cookware. I have a tendency to kill my cookware, unfortunately. I'm gonna let that work until it's done. This part looks white right here, but I'm just gonna let it cook. I'm gonna let this cook. In here, I added the rice, I had a kale cabbage mixture, and then along with the carrots and the pepper. I want to say onion, but it, there's no onions in this house. So <laughs> I'm waiting on the chicken. I cut some of it off the bone, and as that cooks, I'm going to just stick it in here. Then as it gets done, I'm going to make a little well in the middle and cook a scrambled egg. So we will have some chicken fried Spanish rice. Asian Spanish fusion in the house, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Using what we have. Yep. I added the egg. It was in a little pile, but as I stirred it, um, more of what was on the sides came in, obviously. So I'm just trying to make sure it gets cooked through all the way. With everything, give it a good stir. No one wants raw eggs. I'm actually going to cover it a little bit as well, so it'll steam and finish as well. And dinner is ready. So because of the eggs, you still see them in there. They're completely cooked. You could see little pieces of them. It smells amazing. Oh, agreed on that, man. <laughs> so this is a random idea if you have leftover rice of any kind. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yep. Hit that thumbs up. Let us know what you think.
subscribe, all that good stuff, man. There we go. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.